Right, a change of plans. I've actually left the whale for about two weeks um, and it gave me enough time to just change the way I'm thinking about the design for the wall. Initially, I positioned the whale in a horizontal way, but it wasn't quite working on the wall for me. Well, it was something different. It wasn't dynamic enough, so I had a different idea. I've been studying whales and how they swim, how they move, and I really like that idea of the whale breaching the waters. I'll be painting it as if the whale is leaping out of water, hence it's upside down. I'm actually excited about it and I'm glad I had those two weeks to think about it, to move over uh, the design. Actually I'm looking forward to painting it this way. I'm going to add some water features and so on and so forth. Yeah, let's see what we have right now. Right, a start of new wall. It's uh, Easter Bank holiday weekend. This is one of the biggest walls I'm going to paint in London. Quite excited. I'm going to spend a few days here. Let's prep the wall. The outline is up, however, we've encountered a problem. The wall is covered with lots of moss. So Steve kindly has gone shopping to pick up some wire brushes. We need to, we need to clean it, the wall before we actually apply the mulch. Wow. This is the end of the day. I've achieved as much as I wanted. Uh, yeah, good start. The proportions are fine. I'm very happy with it. The positioning, everything really worked out. Overall, very happy. Steve-o, we're done. We're done. Yeah, we're done. Let's pack. Uh, let's pack up. Yeah, I think you know I'm quite happy with uh, the amount of work I've done today. So yeah, looking dope. Yeah, that's what I wanted to achieve today. Just the bottom part of the whale, and yeah, feeling it. I'm absolutely exhausted. Uh, I'm not looking forward to today. Seven, eight hours on the ladder. It will be a killer for the legs, but. Needs to get done. Right, end of the day, a massive effort from the Team Penge, <laughs> Team Selhurst, why are you running away? They are a bit camera shy, but yeah, the top of the whale is done. I'm absolutely tired and I'll be back at it in a couple of days time. Right, I'm very lucky there's no car in front of it. I've had two days off, uh, so I'm rested a little bit. Right, this is it for the day. It's just shaping up really nicely. I'm not chatting much 
really because what to say, I'm painting away. Over and out. Right, yesterday I took it easy, nice and slow. Today, quite the opposite. The weather forecast for tomorrow is really bad, so I need to finish as much as I can. It'll be a rush. It's windy, showers. Moving on. So I'm done for the day. It feels like it's getting near the completion now. Good night. It's done without the water. This might be the last time I see it without the car. I'm so excited. Six days. Six days. I'm f tired. I'm not tired. All I see is whales. Home time. Right, so I'm working on the background. I'm painting it raw on the wall uh, because I want the focus to be on the whale and whale alone. It's more faint. It's very, like the brick is eating into the paint. So it's really subtle. And subtle is what I'm going here for exactly. <laughs> won't believe the car is leaving oh my goodness the last few hours of me painting and there are no cars could have been happier about this I'll, which means I'll get a super clean shot of the whale in all its glory there are no cars in front of it damn yes and now over here we are employing a road management system my traffic warden and Steve. It, Check this out. Well, there's no going back now. I can't control those grips, so just feeling into it. I'm actually packing away. The title of the wall is called The Breach. The whale is leaping, is breaching out of the surface of the water. So instead of painting it as easily as that, I decided to flip it round. It's more dynamic. Definitely, this is the biggest, the biggest mural I've painted in London. Maybe the chameleon is bigger. The most difficult thing here was working on the ladder because it takes time just to move the uh, ladder up and down uh, and to do fine adjustments of tones in colors. We're really happy with it. All the details, the eye, the blowhole. Uh, my favorite is the pectoral fin over there. Now the last addition to the wall was the surface, the water. That was really fun to paint, very messy. 
those splashes were challenging because there's no going back you can't paint them over and it was more intuitive so i think it's working really nice and adds to the realistic feel of it special shout outs to london calling blog uh, who's uh, curating this project with railway and uh, local community don't forget to like comment share and subscribe let me know down in comments what animal i should fold and paint next and as always origami riots folding all day every day and i'm out right the whale is finished this way not that way that way is happening sometime again so it's this way anyway